That is three straight years, people. Three straight years, the Oklahoma has come in, the better team, better talent, better everything. Last three years. But Texas has outplayed us. And only in one of those games has Oklahoma scored more points. And that was last year because of a turnover and a special teams touchdown. This time around in Dallas this year, those things didn't happen. Not only did those things not happen, Oklahoma didn't have a turnover. Forced. Texas did. Wow. I thought that we'd come out Oklahoma flat in this ball game. Holy cow. And I don't understand how you can be flat against Texas. You can't be not you can't I can't, I can't explain it, guys. But uh, I guess we got to do this, guys. We'll review what happened. We'll be, we'll uh, review the uh, Red River Nightmare Part Two. Part One was two years ago. This is Part Two. But I will say it was a little bit more entertaining this time. A little bit closer of a ball game. Find out what I mean by that coming up next. <laughs> for Oklahoma and Texas as the Red River Nightmare Part 2. And we all remember Part 1, Case McCoy and those guys, they beat us by 16. And to be honest, it, it wasn't even a 16-point game. It took a late touchdown. I believe it was uh, Gino Grissom that picked up it and found the end zone for a touchdown two years ago. In Norman. I mean, in, in Dallas. Sorry, the game's always played in Dallas. I don't know what I was thinking. This time, though, in Dallas, again, they came back and bite us. But this time, Oklahoma actually fights in this. And they lose by a touchdown, 24-17. Uh, the statistics in this one, Baker Mayfield shakes the haters off. 211 yards and one touchdown. With being blitzed like you wouldn't believe. The line did absolutely nothing for him. He still threw for 211 yards and a touchdown. On the other side, the Shorthorns, Gerard Hurd. He heard his name for just 53 yards in the air and one touchdown. But on the ground is where he made his name. Rushing the ball. Uh... But for Oklahoma, it was Samaj P. Ryan. Be mine, Samaj P. Ryan. That's how Toby Rowland would say it. Thir number 32, P. Ryan had 10 carries for 6 yards and a touchdown that got the Sooners in position. The other side, Gerard Hurd. 21 carries for number 13, Gerard Hurd, for a buck 25. But they did not have. A touchdown for him rushing. Wide receivers. Uh, number seven, Marcus Johnson had four catches for 35 yards and a touchdown. Sterling Shepard had six catches for 96 yards or uh, 95 yards and zero touchdowns for the Sooners. Defensive standouts in this ball game. For the Sooner Schooner, for our side of the Red River, it was all about Jordan Evans, number 26, with 11 tackles. Son of former defensive tackle, Scotty Evans. But for the Shorthorns and the Burnhorns, number 44, Nishan Hughes. Number 40, 
finish the game with nine tackles. The uh, special teams, one for one for each side, Nick Rhodes and Austin Seibert. First of all, for our guy Austin Seibert, he had a number 43. He was one for one on the night, 100% accuracy. 21 was the long, was his one. On the other side, Nick Rose held strong for the horns, finally got back on track. One for one, 100%, 27 yards was his long. Punting-wise, Austin Seibert had uh, seven punts, 39.6 yards in average. Four landed inside the 20-yard line, zero touchbacks, and long a 46. As far as the Texas punter, he had six punts for 41.7 yards in average, one inside the 20, zero touchbacks, 53 was his long. The scoring highlights in this one. Gerard Hurd heard his name called first with a... Uh, that 24 yard with that one touchdown pass. It was a 24 yarder to Marcus John Marcus Johnson, number 13, Gerard Hurd, 24 yard touchdown pass to number seven, Marcus Marcus Johnson. 720, 752 left. 7-0 horns thinking upset. After the, on the unsuming kickoff, Oklahoma fumbles. Texas recovers. And a little while later, with 537 left, Tyrone swoops. Did a three-yard option keeper in his own right. 14 nothing Sooners. Sooners getting their doors blown off. Just two drives in. The, the defense, though, they would buckle up as far as points given up. Because in the second quarter, Oklahoma didn't let them score. But Oklahoma did get into the game, did enter the game with a mindset. Austin Seibert hit that 21-yard field goal up and good. 6.05 left. 14-3. Texas thinking upset. Flash for fast forward through the halftime. Third quarter with 8.18 left. Nick Rose puts the... Hook him on with a 27-yard field goal of his, own, of his own right. 17 3 Texas, as you know, thinking upset. Baker Mayfield, though, says, you know, it's not over, baby. It's not over. I'm not gonna let us look. It's not gonna be my fault that we lose, even with our line not playing well, because he then finds uh, a two-yard touchdown pass to number 36, Dimitri Flowers. Number nine, Baker Mayfield, two-yard touchdown pass to number 36, Dimitri Flowers, with 5.16 left. 17-10 Sooners. Sooners again back in this game. They're looking good. Down by just one score. But Ben, in the fourth quarter, with the Longhorns leaving 17-10, Tyrone swoops. There's a little two-yard touchdown pass to Caleb Blewett. Blewett. With 13.52 left, 24-10, Texas. And that would be all that they need for Texas. The Sooners did score once more to make it interesting with a one-yard touchdown plunge by Samaj P. Ride with eight minutes left. 24-17, but Texas still in charge. Be mine, to my J.P. Ryan. And that's your bowl game, folks. The uh, Riley's right call of the game was probably that touchdown run to P, to, uh, to P. Ryan from the one-yard line. Uh, Stoopsy stop of the night. Uh, Gerard Hurd. Went back for a pass, and Eric Stryker grounded him, forcing a second and long, which really put the Longhorns behind the chains on that drive, which really set up the ball game for the Sooners at that point. All right, guys. 
I guess now we got to get play ready for Kansas State. No time to, to cry over this one. We got Kansas State welcoming, getting ready for us. Kansas State, who just lost again last week to TCU. They lost two weeks ago to Okie State. So they're hungry, they're fierce, and they're coached by one of the best, Bill Snyder. Let's hope the Sooners can get that one and get back on track. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully we'll never have to relive one like that again. And as always, Boomer Sooner!